Hello, welcome back. The title of this lesson is called When to Use Mean, Median, and Mode to find the measure of the center of a data set, right? So another way of saying this, the way I originally titled it was Understanding Measures of Center. But I think this title is better because really what we're trying to do is to figure out when do we use the mean, when do we use the median, and when do we use the mode? Because they're just three different flavors of trying to figure out the central value or the central, uh, the center of, or the measure of center of our data set, right? So I've already mentioned this several times, but we're gonna write it all down in one place. In general, you wanna use the mean when you have well-behaved data with no outliers, right? You wanna use the median when you have outliers in your data, and we'll talk about why in a minute. And then you wanna use the mode. You can use the mode anytime you want, but it's most commonly used when your data doesn't even have any numbers. Uh, it could be eye color, could be skin color, could be hair color, could be anything that's not a number, we usually are gonna use the mode because it's better suited to that. So let me just write these down. I've mentioned these all several times throughout the lessons. In general, we wanna figure out and use the mean as the measure of center of the data set, if I can spell mean correctly, sorry about that, the mean, or also called the average value of a data set, when we don't really have any outliers. So I'll say no outliers. We'll talk about why in just a minute. The median is what we use generally when we know that we have some outliers. Right, so we basically use one or the other depending on if we have outliers or you don't. If we do have outliers, we tend to use the median. And the mode, we generally use it when you have a non-numerical data. And don't worry if you're having a hard time figuring out what non-numerical data is, just, just give me a few minutes, I will give you an example of that. So let's take a look. You'll learn these uh, very much in your mind as I, we actually start and take a look at some of these problems because they're very practical. Let's say that I give you the following data. I say you have a five, a four, a three, a three, a six, and a 17. Now generally, you can say this data could be representing anything. This could be the age of kids when they learn how to ride a bike. Now when you, if you wanna figure out whether you should use the mean, median, or mode, the first step I want you to always write the data from smallest to largest, as we've been doing, okay? The smallest number in this data set is three, followed by another three, I have a duplicate there. Then we have a four, then we have a five right here, and then we have a six, and we have a 17. Now tell me, do, does one of these numbers uh, jump out at you? Well, if it's, for instance, the age of a child when they learn how to ride a bike, three-year-olds, three-year-old, four-year-old, five-year-old, six-year-old, 17-year-old. Okay, the 17-year-old is probably an outlier. It is possible that that person just never learned how to ride a bike. I'm not saying it's impossible. When I say an outlier, I'm not saying it's absolutely impossible. I'm saying that that one data point is so far different from the others, that if you're really just trying to understand in general when kids learn to ride their bike, probably the 17 year old, you don't want to, you don't want to, you don't want to throw it away because we have to maintain scientific integrity. We have to use all the data we have, but you may not want to weight it as much as the other data points because it's probably just an unusual circumstance with that person. Maybe they could not afford to buy a bike or something. Some unusual circumstance that's probably nothing wrong with the child, they probably just didn't get around to doing it and we may not wanna weight it as much. So if we were to calculate the mean here, then we would say three plus three plus four plus five plus six plus 17, and then we would, uh, we would divide by one, two, three, four, five, six, right? And we would get a number. But because we're including the 17 in the data set, if we were to find the mean and you're actually adding in the 17 and then dividing, it's gonna pull the average value, the mean up, so far up above these other data points that it might not be a good measure of center, right? So we generally do not wanna use the mean when we have an outlier. That's why I say we use the mean when we don't have any outliers. Because if we do have outliers, it's gonna screw up the mean because it's gonna pull the value off to the right. Right, so I'm just gonna circle this and call this an outlier. Right, because, because we know we have an outlier in our data, then we're going to use or want to use the median for this data set. So this, this is not, we're not actually finding the median. We're not actually finding the mean. This set of, le this problem, these problems are all about just identifying which one should we use, mean, median, or mode. 
We use the mode when we have non-numerical data. Well, this is numerical data, so we're not going to use the mode. We use the mean when we don't have any outliers, but we have an outlier here, so we need to use the median here because that's what we use when we have an outlier. Why would we use the median? Because remember, this is ordered from least to greatest. What would the median be? In this case, there's six values. So from our previous lesson, we try to find the center value, but there really is no center value. So we find the center central two values, which is four and five. Notice they have two values on either side. So four and five are in the center. And you average the two center values. So what comes between four and five? If you average them, you're going to get 4.5. So the median value of the people that are learn how to ride their bike is four and a half years old. It's going to be averaging four and five. That's a much better uh, way to measure the center of this data than to average it because if you average it, it's going to be up too high because this outlier is going to pull the average up mathematically. That's why we use the median when we have outliers because just ordering them and looking in the center generally discards or it doesn't uh, emphasize the outliers as much. So generally that's what we want to do in, in, in data analysis and statistics. If we have an outlier, we generally don't want to weight it as much because it's probably an unusual circumstance or the 17 could just be an error. Like maybe this is really a seven year old instead of 17 year old, but they put it in the computer wrong or they wrote it down wrong. Maybe it's just a seven year old. So it could be an error as well. All right, let's take a look at problem number two. We have this data, 37, 32, uh, 33, 35, 36, 36, 34. All right, do we wanna use the mean, the median, or the mode? First step, we wanna write them in order from least to greatest. We have the smallest one at 32. Uh, then we have the next number at 33. Then we have 34, which is way over here. Uh, then we have 35. Then we have 36 but we actually have another 36 right next door, 36 right here. And then we have 37, which was way back here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So should we use the mean, median, or the mode? Well, we only use the mode in general if we have non-numerical data. Here, we have numerical data, so we're not gonna use the mode. You can, but generally we won't, okay? Next, you ask yourself, is there an outlier or not? Well, the range of this data only goes from 32 to 37. If we were studying the age at which people get married, let's say, and the range of, age, the range of ages only go from 32 to 37, I don't think there's a real outlier here. It doesn't appear to me to be an outlier anywhere because all of these numbers are generally around the same area. An outlier is when you have one or two points far away from the bulk of your data, but this is a nice gradual range from 32 to 37. It's all in one little area. There's no outliers. So because there's no outliers, we're gonna use the mean or the average, right? We're gonna use the mean because in order to find the mean, we'll add them all up and we're gonna divide by the number of data points. So we're going to equally weight every data point to figure out the average value or the mean. Right? So because there's no outliers, that's fine to do. If we had an outlier, like in the previous problem, then by calculating it that way, it's gonna skew the mean way off and that's why we don't use it in that case. But here, totally fine to use the mean. All right, let's take a look at the next problem. Take a look at this data, 22, 24, 27, 25, uh, three, 31, 28, and 29. All right, first, before you do anything, let's write down the data from least to greatest, okay? The smallest number is a three, then we have 22, then we have 24, right? What comes next? We have a 25, right? Then we have a 27, right? Then we have a 28 and a 29 right here, and then a 31 is the last one here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's our data set. Three, 22, 24, uh, 25, 27, 28, 29, 31. Now this could be, for instance, the age that people learn how to drive a car, let's say. I don't know, that doesn't really make sense either. Or the age that people get married in a certain town. So let's take a look at this data and see what jumps out at us. Let's say this data represents the age that people get married, right? We have the 22 year olds that get married, the 25 year olds that get married, 
the 29 year olds that get married, and then we have this outlier here at three. Uh, obviously, no three year old is ever going to get married. So it's, it's an outlier, it has to be. There's no way that's possible for a three year old to get married. So it's probably an error in the data. They probably meant to put 30 or 31 or something like this and one digit was not written down correctly in, in the computer or in the tablet or whatever. So it's probably an outlier. So you generally don't wanna use the mean to calculate this because if you did, you're gonna be including the three in the calculation. And because you're including the three when you add everything up and divide, it's gonna skew the mean too far one direction when you know that that data point is impossible. So because we have an outlier, we want to use, uh, this is an outlier, I'll, I'll label it. Right, outlier. Uh, because of that, we wanna use the median. And what would the median be, by the way? Well, how many points do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have an even number of data points. So the first four data points would be, uh, let's see here, even if you include this, the first four data points would be here and the next four data points would be here. What is the number in the center? Well, there is no number in the center. So what you do is you take the two numbers in the center for the median, 25, 27, and you average them. So you would take 25 plus 27 and divide by two. But if you know what the, the, the mathematical definition of what an average is. An average value, the mean, is just trying to find the number in the middle. So if you have 25 and 27, what number comes right in the middle? Well, the number 26 does. So if you add these up and divide by two, you're going to get 26, 26 years old for the age of getting married. 26 years old as the median value makes a lot more sense for the actual center value of these people that are getting that married than the average would or the mean would. Because if I average all these together, the three is gonna pull it down and it's not gonna represent what we really know to be true in our data set because we suspect this is just an error. All right, only two more. Let's take a look at the next one. Now let's take a look at a different kind of data. All right, let's take a look at our next example. For this one, it's gonna be a little bit different. Let's say we survey a bunch of families and we say, hey, the first child that you had, was it a boy or was it a girl? Just tell me the first child that you had, boy or girl, and then you write that down. So the first family says, well, we had a boy first. And then the next family says, well, we had a girl first. The next family says we had a boy first. And then the next family said we had the boy first. And then the next family after that said we had a girl first. And then the next family said we had a girl first, right? And then we had, let's see, girl, girl, then we had a boy, then we had a girl, then we had girl, and we had girl. Now, I definitely need to check this. So boy, girl, boy, boy, then girl, girl, then boy, girl, girl, girl. All right, so those are our data there. Now, notice that there's no numbers here. So how would you find the average value of this? I mean, how do you do it? You can't, you can't find the average of boy and girl. How would you find the median of that? It would be difficult. I guess you could kind of put the data, but you can't order it from least to greatest. Remember to find the median like we kind of did here. Um, you have to order at least to greatest, but which one's least, is a boy or girl? So it's very hard to figure out what the median is either, you can't. So that's why in the beginning when we said, when you have non-numerical data, you use the mode, right? So to make this uh, simpler, if we wanted to, we could just figure, figure this out by putting the data uh, and figuring out what is most common, right? So because this data is non-numerical, we're gonna use the mode, we just said that. Now let's just for giggles, actually find the mode. Well, we have a boy right here, right? I'm gonna put a boy column and a girl column. Let's just do it that way. So we have a boy here, and then we have a girl right here. We have another boy right here, and then another boy right here, and then another girl right here, and then another girl right here, and then a boy right here, and then three girls. So girl, 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 like this. Let me just check. One, two, three, four. One, two, I'm sorry, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let me double check. I have one, two, three, four boys. Four boys. One, two, three, four, five, six girls. One, two, three, four, five, six girls. Okay, what's the mode? Remember, the mode is the most common value, right? So the mode in this case is going to be girl because we have more girls than boys. It's just 
the, the, the item in the data set that occurs most often. So in this case, it would be girl. So we use it mostly for non-numerical data. In the past, we have calculated and figured out the mode for numbers also, we can do it. But usually we don't, we use the mean or the median almost always. The mode is mostly used when you have eye color or hair color or boy girl or something like that. What kind of car do you like? You know, this kind of car, trucks and, trucks and cars, you know, things that you can't really calculate things with. You can still find the mode by figuring out what is the most common value in the data set. So when it's non-numerical, in this case it's non-numerical, we use the mode. All right, let's take a look at our very last problem. Let's take a look at this data. We have 4.6, 4.1, 3.5, 3.5, 4.5, 3.5, 4.5, 3.5, 4.5, 3.5, 4.5, 3.5, 4.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 